Low Country leader speaking out against hate. News 2's Lexi Moore joins us live in studio. Lexi, you heard from speakers at a rally and candlelight vigil tonight. Amira, speakers at the United Against Hate events say the only way to fight hate is coming together to find a solution. Hate won't win. Hate won't win. Rallying for love instead of hate. It shouldn't be a debate. It's as simple as one, two, three. With hate crimes affecting communities all over the country, local leaders say now is the time for state lawmakers to pass a hate crimes law. Without it, South Carolina can continue a shameful tradition. Part of our state's legacy is sadly a history of racial violence. Those who knew the Charleston church shooting victim say the bill passed by the state house is crucial. I'm a living witness, a testament. I'm a testimony that love does transcend hate. Love does conquer hate. Love does remind us that uh, when we enable love to lift us over the, the, the devastation of, of the intentions of hate, we become empowered. Believing coming together is a must. We are a minority when we are divided. But if we come together, we are a majority that would be here in this country that people will listen to. We have to stay motivated. We have to stay involved. And, and I, I will say there are some good things out there happening from a policy point of view. Some hope the governor outlaws hate crimes. In our time, at least some of the substantive policy-oriented agenda items moving in the direction that advances all human beings. South Carolina is just one of three states without a hate crimes law. In studio, I'm Lexi Moore. Count on two.